All right, guys. So here is the video that I promised, but it took so get goddamn long because I don't have any time to do that. So this is very basic part that I usually roll the kayak into water like this way. Okay. And here is my H crate with a battery in it. Let me show you the battery very quick. This is amped outdoor, uh, 100 amp. All right, it's uh, it's it has some kind of a uh, Velcro system on the back, uh, on the bottom, just kind of uh, stabilize it. And I have a plug here, so I have. I don't use a uh, trailer because I don't have a place for a trailer. Um, this is working pretty well so what i do i usually come um, i use this this handle this handle to carry the the kayak it works pretty well this one and you just disconnect this and put this on all right and put this in that is so easy and sorry i need to adjust this all right so this is how it looks and then i'm gonna close this all right so let me let me remove oh actually i can keep my shoes on all right so here is another plug that I have literally runs from this is the original cable I didn't do anything I just put this uh, plastic around it I think I'm gonna go to uh, foam system so here's my plug and receptacle um, I will show inside later um, and Basically, I'm gonna move this edge crate. It's not that heavy. It's uh, very, uh, very nice. Right, okay, I centralize this. Put this on the center. All right, this is boom one. All right, two, three. Then here's another, I don't know if you can see it, but here's another plot receptacle here. You just to follow these arrows here. Boom, that's it. This is an then you secure these edge grade parts. This thing, if this thing rolls over, uh, it will be still there. Um, so let me put my life jacket. Um, all right. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue recording uh, after I park the car and uh, and when I'm on the water, I can just briefly show you guys that how convenient it is to uh, use the the bow mount uh, system because uh, the main reason is you, you don't really need to worry about something pushing you it's just like pulling you wherever you want it to be pulled it's, it's, it's a very uh, shorter radius than uh, any other thing you can do I still use my uh, I bring my uh, 360 drive with me uh, just in case you know I barely use it but anyway all right, I will continue recording after uh, after I park the car. All right, guys, here I'm back. I'm just uh, mowing these uh, boondocks landing uh, in the proper position. I kind of want to keep these. Um, here you can see that how it's level. 
it doesn't have that much of a weight on the front it's just uh 35 pounds i think and my weight for battery i think like 15 pounds plus the, the wheels and and obviously my ass is just uh i'm kind of leaning towards the back um so once i get close to the water this is i know that uh i think caddy uh i think uh I took some example from there but they have a she has a, some kind of a lever system and then she has this ball here uh, which connects to a kind of rope that you can uh, you can pull this uh, when you're on the water when you're sitting over there so it's kind of uh, I wanted to try to do that but then I realized that there's too much wires going on around especially this area so uh, that was a uh, that was big no-no for me I don't want to uh, interrupt my view on that or you know get the wires in front of me and just test the battery good and just drop it in the water so my shaft is i think 33 inches uh, because i also go uh backwater uh like chesapeake bay and uh some inshore places uh you kind of need the uh, longer shaft for that i know that some you know freshwater people just they use uh, uh 28 i think uh danny was telling me that you know he, he has a 28 but i cut it to 30 33 i'm glad i did sometimes when the wave bumps uh you know that thing comes out of water okay and you know that's pretty much it the, this thing here Hopefully I'm not gonna fall over on this video. There you go. Here's my remote. And you just and you just boom. So what I usually do, I kind of center this. Oh, oh, oh. made a mistake I didn't drop the these broader and all other stuff all right and the good thing about having to dry when you stuck you can just turn like that turn like this and boom so I have uh, Terawa uh, it's pretty it's 55 pound thrust um, works pretty well I can go up to four point trees uh, four point fours all right so here we go so so what I do I usually center it and then I use the rudder to go around all right so here we go uh, I'm on a Burke Lake, Virginia, Springfield, Virginia. It's pretty nice uh, weather out. I, uh, I think, uh, what else I can show you guys? I think there is no wind today, so probably I'm going to just uh, go somewhere and uh, stay there for long enough time. But I was on, uh, I was on, um, um, Solomon Island, Maryland, Solomon's Island, Maryland, uh, this weekend, and there was pretty good wind. I think like 10 miles to 12 miles an hour. Uh, this thing was like running the, uh, the the propeller around like two miles to three miles per hour, time to time, and it was able to keep me on the uh, on the spot. Uh, and especially there was a lot of. Uh, you know big waves were coming out uh, from left and right and uh i didn't have any problem but only thing that i had was my seat was lower uh, and a little bit extra cautious so i said you know uh, sometimes i kind of want to use my legs to scratch them but uh right now i'm already tired i, I had a long day so i'm not gonna use my uh likes to do anything about it today 
Uh, let me know if you guys have any question. Um, I will be happy to help. And uh, feel free to reach out to Denny. Uh, he was so helpful to me. Uh, this this bracket. Uh, probably I just should do like a out of water uh, review, just shoving the, all the parts and pieces. How I did the the connectivities and connections. Uh, that will be great. But so right now I can tell you guys I'm going like four miles per hour, 4.1. And this is speed 10, and I, I have a 100, 100 amp battery, so probably I can go around like three hours at full speed, uh, which won't be any problem. Okay, great. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye.